Hi, in this video we are going to learn how to do uh, text processing using sed and the cut command. We are going to uh, filter out uh, text in the middle of uh, a partially formatted text file. Okay. For example, this is a list of like uh, 40 ministers and their uh, portfolios and their party. Okay. What the goal here is to filter out the ministries like for example in line 5 we have this ministry of commerce and industry so we want to filter out this part okay uh, this uh, this file is uh, only partially formatted because some places you see you have comma and the quotes some and at the end you have party and some lines we have ministry like multiple ministries okay so it's not as easy as just uh, doing like a couple of set commands so we'll learn how to do this and at the same time we'll learn our tricks with the cut and the set command so how are we going to do this let's figure out some structure in the text so you see the first part of text like first part means like if we think of the comma as a delimiter then the first part is the name and the second and the following parts are the ministries and the last part is the party name okay so what we want to do is we want to first get rid of the first part and then we'll get rid of the last part and that will be it but getting the first uh, getting rid of the first part is kind of easy but getting rid of last part is not and we'll see how we can do that and then we'll split the ministries as well like for example you have ministry of road and transport here but in some lines you have multiple ministries uh, let's say line number 14 you have ministry of electronics and uh, information technology and then you have ministry of law and justice so we want to split these two ministries into separate lines so that we can see list of all the ministries okay so let's see how we can do it how, how we are going to do this first part is to get rid of the name field so we'll We'll get rid of the name field by separating with marking the delimiter as comma and we are capturing field second and then when you put minus and nothing at the end that means from two to the last all the fields beginning from the second field will uh, will be printed others will be filtered out so you see the names are uh, gone okay now what we want to do is we want to filter the last part Filtering out last part is not uh, trivial, but there is a standard pattern. What you want to do is you want to reverse each line. When you reverse, then what happens is this BJP comes in the beginning. So let's see how it looks. See, all this came in the beginning, but the characters are reversed, which is not a big problem. All we want to do is first we filter out the first part now. So we'll we'll cap we'll remove the first field and we'll take all the fields. So from two to the last field, we took all of these and the delimiter is a comma okay now what we want to do is we want to reverse again so it will look like normal text see so everything else is gone now the interesting part remains like all the ministries are there but there are some uh, like small nuances like you have quotes here and then some sentences have multiple ministries so let's get rid of the starting quotes first so now we have to use the set command so what we want to do is we want to remove the quotes which are stuck which are in the beginning of the line so if you remember the caret sign symbolizes the beginning of the line okay so what we want to do is we want to remove the caret on the from the beginning of the line so what we did was let's see it says delete the quotes if there is there are any quotes in the beginning from the beginning of the line okay so now we see there are no quotes okay all right what next uh, what is next is we want to split the ministries into different lines so we'll do said if there is ministry then what we want to do is we want to insert a new line character if whenever we find a ministry okay we want to do new line and then ministry so why did we 
split uh, insert new line every time for example in the beginning of the line we don't have to um, insert a new line only uh, if there is if the ministry is in the middle the problem was like this text is uh, kind of unstructured so sometimes you have comma and then ministry sometimes you have quotes and ministry sometimes you have space and ministry okay so that is a problem so what we want to do is that's why we, we just inserted new line like everywhere and just now I found one more thing that see um, some places you have ministry and then you have uh, ministers see this one so we, we want to split here also so uh, what we want to do is we want to have a common prefix like ministry and ministers so the first uh, five or six characters are common so what we will do is minister M I N A S T, and then we will be able to split those as well okay now um, because you have useless new lines we want to get rid of them how are we going to get rid of them so whenever there is a new line in the beginning we can do we can again use the set command so it says if there is a new line in the beginning so dollar stands for end of the line so, but what what this means is if you have a new line at the beginning you want to delete them so let's get rid of them see now we got rid of them okay so this was the goal we got rid of everything all that remains is ministries okay so this was the goal uh, some of the lines are spurious like minister portfolio because uh, that is a first line uh, like minister portfolio uh, so those things you can filter out but that's not the uh, uh, biggest issue here okay so at the end this was the command um, we can summarize this pretty quickly it says get rid of the name part then this three commands are kind of summarizing that get rid of the last field so this is a standard way to get rid of the last field then you remove the spurious quotes and then you split the ministers and ministries and then you get rid of the empty new lines and that's about it thank you hope you learned a lot um, of tricks in one single use case thank you